I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony from the start. And a look at the starters for the Hornets. So Memphis will get the first possession. Passes it to Concho. Miller against Williams. Back to Conchar. Five to shoot. He feeds it to Jackson. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. Here are the Hornets with the ball. Ball kicks to Miller. Outside Martin. Richards passes to Martin. Here's Miller. And no good. And it's Memphis the other way. Williams looking around. To the paint. Here's Jackson. And it's good assisting on the play was Williams. Got his second basket. First quarter of play. One minute played. Right side. Ball. Outside Martin. Pass to Miller. Now on the scoring Brandon column with that bucket, one for two this game. I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Williams against Miller. Got a piece of it. Oh, and here we go now with Miller. Nobody back. Well, so Brandon often Miller. we see this transition buckets off turnovers. And we know turnovers are painful and costly. You get loose with the ball on one end and get punished on the other end. Here's Gilliard following the bucket by the Hornets. Aldama passes. No good with the triple. The Hornets have... And it's Miller in the corner. The dish now to Bridges. The kick out to Ball. Fires from deep. And the three ball is good. Three points. And here are the Grizzlies now. It's a three-point game. Outside, Williams. There's the pass. Shoots over Richards. And there's Jackson on the assist from Williams. Got six. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Now here is Martin. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. First personal foul. And you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And not the guy you want to see at the line too often. Season numbers has him in the bottom tier of the league. You know, guys, when you look at those numbers last year for him, I think it does affect how much you're willing to go after contact because um, you're a little fearful of getting to the foul line unless you're in the and one situation uh, too many trips to the line when you shoot it as poorly as he does actually can hurt you what agility there look how quick Jackson moves after setting the screen perfect execution and the shot goes in Brandon Miller he's got six and that's an example of playing big adapting to the situation and sometimes that's the best policy when you're going up against a big guy. Take it to the 10. Right at him. Get to the rack. So timeout called here. The first for Memphis. Uh, adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. Substitution on the court. And the Grizzlies with possession here. Trailing by four. Pass to Kennard. Pippen. And another miss by Memphis. The Hornets on offense. They're on a 12-4 run right now. Martin the pass to Richards. Some nice pass in here by Charlotte. Miller outside. There's Ball with the three. Buries the long-range jumper. Got six. The Grizzlies are... Pippen. He's covered Here's by Ball. First, two minutes. Pippen. 
all sorts of time. Count that bucket. You know, not necessarily what you're looking for, but still able to convert. Outside Martin. Pass to Bridges. Over Jackson. And Charlotte Miles again Bridges. with the bucket. Assist goes to Cody Martin. 139 left in the first quarter. Pass to Watanabe. And here's Kennard. Six to shoot. Great D that time from Martin. Hornets leading by seven. Bridges passes to Richards over Jackson. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. The Grizzlies have... Inside. It's tipped. To the inside. And now the Grizzlies, fast break. Here's Kennard. Good work defensively by Martin. And here's Miller, he'll bring it up for the Hornets. And there's the pass to Ball. Back to Miller. Kicks the Ball. From 10 feet out. Here's Bridges, the second effort, and it's Miles good Bridges. on the way in. There's 25 seconds left to play in the first quarter. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Out of bounds, Charlotte oh, takes possession. Charlotte. And this is like another case of Murphy's Law right now, Zaire and it's been Williams. their own doing, really, just like we saw Derek there. Rose. And it's the Hornets' ball. They're on a 19-6 run. Ball dishes to Martin. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Outside Rose. And that does it for the first quarter. Hornets ahead, up nine. The second quarter coming up right after this break, so don't go anywhere. Fans, please. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Hornets. And so far, these guys have done a fantastic job finding the opening man and getting some easy baskets. They've established their presence in the paint tonight. Also, a lot of their scoring to this point coming from down low. Santi Aldama is out there with Williams. Then it's John Conjar. Then there's Derrick Rose. And it's Jackson in at the five down low. That's the group for Memphis to kick off the second quarter. Ball against Rose. Conjar on the wing. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Assisted by Derrick Rose. Hornets leading by seven. Bridges outside. Back to ball. The three ball. Second shot opportunity. And there's a nice Miles lamp inside Bridges. by Bridges. Got six points. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Williams looking over the floor. Got a piece of it. Bridges against Williams. Here's Ball. And he drops it in from the low post. And now an 11-point Charlotte lead for Memphis. They've gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Rose passes. Here's Conchar, covered by Martin. Back to Williams. Just five to shoot. Charlotte foul. Miles Bridges. First Memphis shooting foul. their first free throws first tonight. The first trip to the stripe in this one. At the line for two. Zaire. The first free throw is good. And Memphis making a change here. And good on the second, so it makes them both. Quarter number two. We're about two minutes in. Taken away by Williams. 
There's the lob to Jackson and the dunk by Jackson. Hornets leading by seven. There's Miller with the three. Aldama with the rebound. The Grizzly gone two of four shooting the ball here in the second. Stolen by Martin. By himself and finished off by Martin. Martin. And unfortunately, we've seen a few too many of those. A lack of concentration, a turnover, and an easy bucket in transition. Williams can't hit. Charlotte's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Miller, the pass to Richards. There's Ball with the three. The Grizzlies pull it in. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Dishes it to Jackson. And Memphis turns it over again. Hornets fall. Grizzlies making a switch here. Charlotte in the lead. Miller outside. The 10 footer. Charlotte no good that time either. And for Memphis, they're shooting from the field. 44%, not bad. Down low, Williams. And he converts it's the layup. Williams. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. Bridges finds Miller. Ball from long range. Lamello Got five ball. points now in the quarter. Three. The Grizzlies have gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter. Three of six. Now Jackson. He's got 10. And here is Goodwin. Back to Jackson. Pass to Gilliard. Memphis moving that ball around. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Hornets lead by eight. Ball, the pass to Bridges. Here's Ball. 11 points in the game. Here's Miller. Off target on the 15-footer. It's Williams high post. He's against Bridges. Williams up on top. Over to the left wing. Four on the shot clock. Charlotte's gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter. Only hitting one of five attempts. The Grizzlies trail by eight. Outside Williams. And it's Williams finishing it off. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, G.A., right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Yeah, you know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up, take the initiative and make something happen. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. That free throw good from Miller. 52 seconds left in the second quarter. Pass. Shoots over Richards. Bridges with the board. Hornets leading by nine. Here's Richards. From deep. Got five points Miles now in the quarter. Well, you can see the work being put in on that particular shot for Bridges, and his confidence as a result is continuing to grow. Seven second difference. Shot and game clock. Passes it to Conchar. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. From John Kutchar. And so it's Ball with it. He brings it up for the Hornets. Miller kicks to Ball. The pass to Martin. Back to Ball. And good. He got the English that time as it falls. Ball showing a lot of effervescence on the offensive end, and it's probably infectious for the rest of his squad. And so it's the Charlotte Hornets enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. We come back right after this.
And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. And Charlotte looking at who they've got. The guard and off guard are Ball and Martin. Bridges out and it's Miller in at the three, the small forward. The Grizzlies trail by 12. And Williams, here we go. Charlotte foul, Nick Richards. First personal The Grizzlies foul. shooting their third First and fourth free foul. throw shots of the night. Yeah, numbers last year for them, just about 73%, so the bottom third of the league. And those aren't the kind of numbers they can afford to repeat throughout this season. Hornets leading by 11 to the middle. It's tipped. Miller outside from downtown. In it goes for the fifth Brandon time and 10 shots for him this game. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flames. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Pass to Gilliard. Here's Jackson. And three chances on that possession, but they just couldn't find a way to score. So Charlotte calls timeout. Time out. They're first. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. Some changes here for the Hornets. For Martin. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Miller, the pass to Bridges. He gets that one. Foul called. Santi Aldama. Second First trip to the free throw foul. line for him tonight. Shooting for Charlotte. Miles Bridges. The Grizzlies trail by 16. Here's Conchar. The second chance effort. Tries yet again. That one doesn't go, but he's still shooting 50%. 5 of 10. Here's Curry. The shot missing. Now the Grizzlies take it the other way. At the elbow, Williams. And it's Williams throwing it down. And, and cutting into the lead with the big one-hand throwdown. That's how you get your team back into it. That might indeed ignite a spark in this team. Here's Bridges. Rebounded by Jackson. Got four rebounds now tonight. Memphis is... Here's Gilliard. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. There's the lob to Jackson. Up high to stop the alley. -oop. And how about the hands on Jackson? Makes a good target on that frame and then able to finish off the alley -oop. Here's Curry with the three. Good. And the nice Seth assist Curry. for Williams. And the Hornets lead by 15. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give Time this guy any Memphis. room to operate. Timeout called. The Grizzlies. Goodwin finds Williams. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. And that one is off. Good D by Miller. Hornets leading by 15. Here's Curry. And he uses the glass on the layup. Curry's got five points now in the quarter. And it's Goodwin with the ball for the Memphis Grizzlies. Miller against Williams. Jackson looking around. Conchar. Bridges with the board. And, and guys, not sure where his head was on that shot. Not what this offense was designed Brandon to create. Miller. 
Not at all. I mean, that's where they want him looking for a teammate, not trying to do it on his own. He needs to share the wealth there. Goodwin with it. He's still scoreless so far in this one. He kicks it to Jackson. Shot clock at six. Inside to stop the run. For Charlotte, they've gotten five of eight shots to fall for them in the third quarter. A nice 62% from the field. Curry with the bucket. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Two Almost no in the holes in their Two performance minutes. tonight. They've been tremendous. Now, here's Goodwin. Pass to Conchar. Launches it. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Got five. Hornets leading by 18. Miller outside. Passes it to Mann. For three. It's rebounded by Memphis. Over in the corner, Williams. Now the pass. Here's Conchar. The kick out to Williams. And again, it's Memphis with the three. And, and no matter who it is, that kind of D isn't going to get it done. Taken away by Williams. Conchar on the wing. And the Grizzlies tack on two more. 55 seconds left in the third quarter. On the wing, Miller. Williams passes to Curry. The Grizzlies trail by 13. Goodwin feeling it out. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. There's 31 seconds left in the third quarter. Curry finds Miller. Over Williams. That's good for Miller. The assist by Curry. Got seven points here in this quarter. And with those points, he puts it in to that 10-0 run by the Grizzlies. For Memphis, they have to shot 75% at the line tonight, going three for four. One shot. And so he hits the technical free throw. For your Grizzlies, Utah Watanabe, Luke Kennard. Now, here's Goodwin. Defense is right there. Jackson in the corner. Pass to Conshaw. Takes a three. That one, no good. So it's the That's Charlotte the Hornets the enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. What a the night Hornets. they've had in terms of their shooting. Do do? Everything dropping in for them. We'll get right back to the fly. action when we return. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. They've got Jackson. And it's Gilliard in at the point. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. And a breakdown Trade here, guys. Man. The hustle stats for the Hornets. Yeah, but also, they haven't missed a beat in terms of their fast break game. That's been equally as effective Holtz all night long. Trey, man. Conte Aldama's checked in for Memphis. First Williams comes out. in. Substitution for your Grizzlies. Santi Aldama. Williams. And the Grizzlies with possession here. It's a 14-point game. Here's Watanabe. Tries to keep it alive. Oh, and Memphis with the another ball, turnover here. Charlotte leading by 14. Man passes to Bridges.
Charlotte calls timeout. Time out. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath. Who wants a t-shirt? Make some noise! And some changes here for the Hornets. For Grant Williams. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, Kevin, I had a chance to find out what Charlotte's coach was going over with his guys. All right, thank you, David. Nick Richards. Assist from Seth Curry. Here's Gilliard. Outside Williams. Pass to Eldama. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. Williams gets the bucket. That is not enough coverage. Got to do better than that defensively. Basically, no coverage. I mean, defense did not look very good there. Bridges left side. It's deflected. Target That's his first foul. Yeah, way to get there first and first be willing foul. to absorb the contact. No question about it. No flop there. That was a direct Jared shot to the chest. Jr. For Wanzanabe. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. Here's Miller. Charlotte again missing. The Grizzlies trail by 13. Here's Gilliard. Passes to Eldama. The three-pointer no good. The Hornets are outside Curry. And he banks in the layup. Seth Curry. Curry's. Here's Gilliard. The pass to Kennard. Williams against Miller. Back to Kennard. Tries again. The shot will not fall. Curry with the defensive effort. Miller finds ball. Charlotte moving it around. Outside Curry. Over Kennard. He clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. And the Hornets lead by 17. Pass to Kennard. Out to the right wing. Here's Gilliard. He's covered by ball. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Second personal foul. Second team foul. And he knocks down the first one. He makes one of two that time. That's tipped. Miller outside. For the three. That'll be his second foul of the game. And their balanced effort at both ends has hushed this crowd. Yeah, you said the key word there, balanced. I mean, their big lead owes as much to their defense as their offense. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Timeout called the Grizzlies. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. Here's Jackson. On the wing, Williams. Pass to Kennard. Outside, Williams. Down to five on the shot clock. We've played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. The Grizzlies with another miss. Back to ball. Over Williams. Here's Miller. Makes it off the glass. Brandon Miller. Big miscommunication 
on defense. He recognizes it and quickly Two takes advantage. Two Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. This is from Jaron Jackson, Jr. And so it's Ball who brings the ball up for Charlotte. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. And Miller with the basket Brandon on the end. Here's Gilliard. Pass to Kennard. Hornets with the rebound. Got his seventh rebound here tonight. The kick out to Ball from outside the arc, and it's the Hornets another, another three. And three so it's points. going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for Charlotte. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. A fantastic show. And, and what an amazing all-around game it was. It was the kind of game for him that all scorers dream of, where the basket seemed as wide as a barrel. Here's Gilliard. He's covered by Ball. Just two to shoot. Williams can't hit. Charlotte in total control. And the pass to Richards. Curry on the wing. Pass to Bridges. Here's the three. The Hornets rebound. Outside, Ball. Stripped away. Seven second difference. Shot in game clock. Pass lets the three fly. The three pointer is right on target. One item that stood out their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it makes it really hard to defend. Ball dishes to Curry. Miller outside. So no problem for Charlotte as they That's get the, the win. The a resounding victory for them. And Thanks Greg in enemy territory, no less. Hey, that's Make exactly sure right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. See you later. And he's played this entire game on his front foot, Kevin. I mean, driving the lane, going to the rim with purpose and getting those points the hard way. On the road, in a tough atmosphere, he's taking on the role of star tonight. If one of their other players came up short, he picked up the slack to make sure they'll be walking out of here with a win.